everyone welcome welcome now let's begin with uh, 1a this is our new lesson and the whole new unit we are going to talk about ages and stages so first age is about people getting old and then there are different stages in life so when i have different age then i also have different uh, things i need to do in my life different responsibilities uh, as we get old so this is something we are going to discuss now i'm going to guide you through uh, this lesson we are going to discuss uh, the stages of life and the life events some important things that happen in everyone's life eventually now uh first i want you to have a look at the number one can you answer this famous riddle from sophocles play oedipus the king uh explain your answer so have a look at this question right here and try to think about the answer for this question okay just think about it and uh tell me why right explain your answer so write your answer here in in one and then tell me why then uh, i will leave the listening uh files like 1.07 I will leave it in uh, your Google Classroom so you can listen to it later, all right? And some of the exercises, some of the listening files, you will need them to finish it. So let's have a look at uh, exercise two. Number the stages of life in order that people reach them. Then listen and check, okay? So what is the first stage in your life? What is the second? What is the third? What was the fourth and so on? So let me give you an example, uh, or let me help you by saying the first one and the last one. If you are a centurion, this is the last one. If you are a centurion, that means you have a hundred years, okay? You are a hundred years old. And if you're uh, an infant, you have just been born, all right? If you're an infant, you're uh, maybe a few months old, all right? So this is, uh, this is where we start, number one. And the last one, you're a centurion when you are 100 years old or older. All right, so finish this one. Then have a look at uh, exercise three, okay? And uh, this is where you will check the pictures below. This is on both uh, pages eight and also uh, eight and nine, all right? This is where I want you to look at pictures and you tell me what stage in life they are right now. So, for example, if you look at uh, A, as I told you uh, before, we start with an infant, all right? So, A, this is an infant. They also say it here, right? In picture A, she's an infant. All right, finish this one, please. Then have a look at uh, exercise four. There are meanings of, uh, or check the meaning of the life events below. At what age are they most likely to happen? What do you think? So, look at the, the events in life. This happens to basically almost everyone in life, and you need to think about when it happens exactly. Is it before you are 20? Is it from 20 to 40? Is it from 40 to 60, over 60? Or does it happen at any age? So let's have a look at uh, the pronunciation here. I'm not going to translate it for you. You need to look it up yourself, all right? But we will check it in, uh, in the feedback that I will give you on, at the weekend. Now. Life events are, so we are born, we are brought up by somebody, then uh, we become a grandparent, we buy a house or flat, we emigrate, we fall in love, we get divorced, we get engaged, we get married, we get our first job, we go to university, we grow up, we have a change of career, we inherit money or house, or something else. We can inherit debt. We can inherit the money we have to pay as well. Uh, we learn to drive. We leave home. We leave school. We move houses, our apartments. Uh, we pass away. We retire. We settle down. We split up. We start a business. We start a family. We start school. So my question is, when do you uh, have these events in your life, all right? when should they happen all right let's have a look at the next page uh, i don't know wait let me let me just boot it up again now here on this page there are two listening exercises the first one is here in five 
you will listen to four people talking about their backgrounds and their families. I want you to circle the correct answer when you listen. So there are four questions right here. Circle the correct one after you're listening, okay? Um, then, when you listen again, I want you to have a look at uh, exercise six. This is where you need to put the correct verb into the correct place. And don't forget that you need to use the past simple form, all right? If you need any help with past simple, you can either check this uh, box over here, all right? Or you can go back uh, to your previous books, the red books. Or you could even check uh, some videos on, on my channel, all right? Uh, I have some videos there about past and also I compare it with other past tenses. Or also I compare it with present perfect. All right, so you can check my YouTube channel. Now, there is one more thing over here. So I want you to finish five and six. For this, you will have the listening file uh, on Google Classroom in the task. Then you go to seven and you will answer. Uh, you will answer these questions. There are five. OK, and uh, in pairs, you cannot work with friends, unfortunately. Now you will answer about your family and your ancestors. Ancestors are people who lived before you, all right? Your family, your your extended family, grandparents, great grandparents, and so on. Give extra information where you can. So, how long has your family lived in your hometown, all right? So just write the answers here for me. Then uh, we are not finished yet because you need to check page 121, all right? Noun plural forms. This is where you will find 1a over here, all right? And here you at the top you see some nouns and there are nouns such as ancestors, boxes, buses, lunches and so on. And I want you to uh, find out how to make the nouns plural because there are some rules, right? And these rules um, will be shown on these uh, words right here. So look at these uh, look at these rules how to make a plural form of nouns and then think of some examples all right so we add and then to most nouns all right so let me help you here we add s to most nouns we have car one car two cars okay or we have one toy two toys one video two videos but then there are other examples here Okay, when the word or the noun ends with uh, ch or sh, ss or s or x, what happens? Okay, that's my question. You will find some example here at the top. So try to put it uh, all together. Try to remember and memorize these uh, rules. Uh, but don't forget, most of the time we just add s. It's nothing really difficult. Now, in number two, I want you to find uh, in here exercise number two. It's uh, just one little question, but it's very important. I want you to find more uh, nouns that follow these rules. All right. So, for example, we add s to most nouns. Uh, so think of some other nouns where I just add s. Right. One video, two videos, one toy, two toys. What are some other examples? Write them over here. OK, you can write them right next to it. So I want to see more examples that are your own, all right? So that's it. Uh, please finish these exercises. If you have any problem, uh, you can ask me a question on Google Classroom or send me an email. And we will correct it uh, with the feedback that I will leave on, your, uh, on YouTube and also on Google Classroom when the deadline ends, all right? And the deadline ends Friday at 10 p.m. So good luck to you all and uh, see you next time.